the microphone. It should be on. Theoretically, technically so. Looks like the camera's up and going. Awesome. Well, let's see here. Let's see. Let's see if we're live live. Go to my YouTube. My channel? Is that where I can see it? Uh, here we go. Now uh, let me unmute it. Ooh, there's so much static. Alright, let me see if I can fix the static -y problem. Where do you think the static is coming from? Let's try turning down this just a little bit. That helps it at all. That still seems like a lot of static, though. Let me go grab a different cable real fast here. Auxiliary box. Auxiliary cable. Ooh. All right, and the other is going to go away here for a minute. So, let's see if that fixes my audio problem. Hopefully it did. Hopefully I just didn't pop the speakers on everybody again. It does not. So. Go to the sound settings. Sound control panel. Which one are you? Blah. There you are. One. Levels. Bring down to 80. Okay. How about now? All right. So maybe 80 will work. No, nope, that still sounds just as bad. You think I would have tested my audio out before all of this? Back up to 100. Let's go back up to that. And maybe I'll just put some type of little compressor on it and see if I can just compress out the bottom part of my audio. Settings, filters, plus. Maybe a noise gate? No, not a noise gate. Let's. Maybe this will work better. Alright, uh, I got several live viewers. So, uh, live viewers, how does it sound now? Still sound. Because I'm listening to it over my phone. I don't know what to do aside from like just turning things down a little more. <laughs> Alright,
I wonder if it has anything to do with my battery level. I wonder if I switch out my packs. Where did my other pack go? Let's see if I even got two double A's. I got two triple A's. Oh. Over here. Here's the other pack. Let's do this. All right, it's going to pop again. Now that I have it turned up. We're probably just going to deal with whatever this sounds like. Because I don't know what else to do. Ooh, did that actually fix my problem? Or did that just mute it while it's not being a talkie boy? Okay, so that didn't act. Oh, well. I really don't know what else to do otherwise, so I think I'm just going to leave it with this setting here and call it close enough because that's all I know what to do. <laughs> and on that, all right, cool. Let's actually like uh, do something, hey? Alright, so I want to leave my phone so I can actually see the stream. Uh, first things first. I already turned off my computer. I just got to rip everything out to start redoing it. So the goal is to get everything off this desk, wipe the desk, and then back cleanly. So let's start clearing off the desk. I got uh, several screwdriver sets. I don't know how interesting it is to actually talk about everything individually. I almost need my phone stand to be like, so I can see my phone. I think we'll just leave it here for most of the stream. So I do use an iFixit set. Whee! Yeah, I fixed it. And then I have some cheapo, like $4, I think is what I spent on this. And I spent $11 each on these. I bought these specifically for the bits. That's all I use from them. I just needed more bits because I stripped most of my iFixit bits. Nothing on iFixit. It's just use a bit enough, it wears out. Uh, we're also going to get these papers moved. And just pray that I just didn't stream all this paper documents on stream. I think there's out of frame. A little perfecto. Awesome. So getting everything off the desk, I'm not really sorting it, obviously. <laughs> if you thought I was, then you're crazy. I think I'm going to do more talk stuff as I put it back on and organize it. Let's go ahead and unplug the phone. That was me hitting the uh, hand button on the phone. I didn't just rip out my phone on somebody. That would have been rude. Uh, rubber bands. 
Alright. We made it to the base of the desk. Let's see. Let's go ahead and pull out the mat. Get a huge laminate top cherry. We're going to scrub that off here in a second. It's hard to believe that there's this many wires. Here's a Ethernet cable. So the whole point I'm doing this is to clean up the wires, essentially, because it's been about three-ish years since I've done any of it. It's time for a wire cleanup. Now, I'd already started. I'm not sure if you can tell down there, but I'd already started a little bit because I had to pull out my router and such in case I needed to flip off the breaker. I didn't want the live stream to just magically end. So I did already move out some of the wiring. But the goal is to get all of the wiring uh, cleaned up. And uh, mostly just to get up like the dog hair. <laughs> There's a lot of dog hair down there. I did vacuum it once out, just over the wires, but I kind of want to do a better job of that. All right, so we almost got all the hard drive off of the desk top. Get that dust off. Power down. All right, now I should get my desktop tower. I'm actually going to open it up, and it could be used with a good blow. Go ahead and turn on my air compressor. Be a little loud, but probably not any worse than the static already in the headphones. So, you know, win some, lose some. We should have a rag here. That is quite the dusty, dusty PC. All right, let's blow you out real fast here. Side. Hopefully, you can. Hear me. I got outside to blow out all my computers because uh, it gets the dust. you just accepted that ear berating probably more importantly hopefully I'm still alive right we got all blown out a little bit cleaner probably like Jacob why don't you just do this during business hours you could have then gone home and you know enjoyed life Which would be a fair point. Come on. There we go. 
I could have done all that. But instead of doing that, I sit in for business hours. And now I am closed during cleanups. Get the most amount of work done during the hours of work. Born concept, I know. The best part about your uh, camera angles, you don't even get to see like the craziest part of the entire setup, which is the ghetto mounted uh, camera setup right above the desk. I'll show in just a second here. Let's get all this wound up. Tightened. Now this is just like phase one of cleanup, which is the deconstructing the setup, which everything's going to come off the desk except for the TV, just because I don't have anywhere else to place the TV. Drop that down there. Oh, we're going to grab that wire before I lose it. <clears throat> Whew. I feel like I need more dust rags. There we go. Bunch of my old business cards. All right, let's pull this off the wall, Ted. Now, why am I deconstructing it this far? Because a lot of these cables aren't even used anymore. Uh, like if I'll go to unplug something, I'll just leave the cable back there that I'm not going to use anymore because it's way easier than actually having to find it and dig it out. And a lot of the stuff that I don't use anymore, I don't use because it's broken. And that's the reason I don't use it. <laughs> not like upgrades or anything. All right. So I think I've almost gotten everything. Almost got everything out except for the speakers and TV and then the amp for the speakers, but that's probably going to stay too. Let me grab a little bit of running alcohol to clean everything up and off with. Let's see here. Perfecto. So it's just rubbing alcohol in a Windex bottle. I like it because it does a really good job of getting the dust up for me. All right, this half I am sufficiently happy with. It looks pretty okay. Let's move over the TV. There's just so many things that gather in a business over three years. I don't know how someone like Lewis Rossman can handle moving around that much crap after being in like the same place I think it was 11 years or something. It was an extraordinary number.
That is about all the dust. We're gonna blow off the phone stand while it's out of commission. There we go. Perfecto. All right. So the top teardown is completio. Time to rebuild the top. All right. So that power cord just goes there. That's fine. We're gonna move that out. Move that. All right. So I I just hit my camera. Sorry about that. I'm gonna work on this desk first, and then I'm gonna work on this desk. And then I want to work on this desk. I have three. This is the work desk. That's the desktop desk. And that's the laptop desk. And that's how I do most of my repairs. And when I say most, I mean literally all of them. So let's go ahead and move this stuff to where I would like it. Let's untangle. There we go. I would like the speaker about right here. Let's pull it off the wall a little bit. Let's drop those speaker wires so that they're not on the desk. A little more dust that escaped me. This speaker, its wires untangled. And drop them behind the desk. They're not quite long enough to get to the floor. And there's a back plate thingy on my desk. So that's where they'll end up sitting. All right. Drop my computer plug-in cord. Let's move the monitor right where I like it. I'm also changing the setup just a tad this time around. Ooh, that wasn't a fantastic sound. So like, this speaker is going to go here, and it's going to go against the barrier, like so, and then I want the screen to just go all the way over to it. Now we might move the screen right there. That means this small speaker can come up, and the back, I want the speaker right there. Look screen right there. All right, that's going to be the new front of my setup. The next big step to it is going to be the d d d d the computer. Duh. So here's the computer. Now I was really hoping. <laughs> that it would fit on the side right here. And it just quite won't. Which is a shame. Now I can have it going this way. The downside to this way is that I'll have to stand up to use the USB ports, which is a rather big annoyance. 
What I might have to do is put the speaker on top of the computer. That's most likely what's going to happen. I like the way if I do that, though, to also raise this speaker so that they matched. Or what I could do, we could put this computer. Ugh. There's a better way to lift it, I'm sure. On top of the speaker. <laughs> Hysterical. I know. So, if there's any recommendations in chat on how to set this up, I'm open for some suggestions. So I would have definitely liked it up front next to the speaker. But it looks like it just ain't quite going to happen. The other option is to push the speakers back a little bit and have the screen just barely in front of both speakers. Kind of like that. And kind of like this. Does that give me enough? Not quite. I really will have to move something somewhere. I almost wish there's not a wall mounting option. I would have uh, them behind the TV, but above it. That way the audio would still go, th go through easily. Make it sound a little bit not muffled. Such big speakers. Alright. Let's see some more dust I missed, so we're going to grab that while I think. There we go. Can't forget the legs. How do I want this set up? I really don't want my computer on the floor. I hate having my computers on the floor. It's a disrespect to computers everywhere. And the next best option in my opinion is to throw them behind behind the screen which I mean not a terrible option at all I might we do that that gives us plenty of extra space to work with too all right perfect though let's see how this is tangled up it's not Perfect. Plug in the audio to the computer before I forget that. So if I throw them both back there and make them look, you know, the same. Uh, yeah. I'll definitely give it a much cleaner look to the desk <laughs> because <laughs> there won't be any speakers to see. That Put this back on the table. That I could I could be down for that. So the other thing I was interested in was having the UPS up here, and it might fit there now. Find out real fast, actually. So it does fit there. It's a happy little accident, as some would say. And I'm all for that. Let's see. Exacto knife.
Oh, it would definitely fit there. So much smaller than I thought. This up, over, out. So I went with the CyberPower 1500 voltage amps. I used one of these at the house, and I love it. Actually, we're gonna grab out the USB cable, set this aside. But the rest of this can just be recycled. Yeah, it looks way smaller here. Just uh, it's wrong. Yeah, I was debating on having it right here under the desk. I could still see it, but it's not like in the way. But if there's plenty of room up here, which there seems to be now. I quite like the idea of having it up here. Actually, this needs to go straight behind the desk. So it's going to plug straight into the wall. Oh yeah, that could totally work. I quite like that. Woo! That's a beautiful sound. All right. So I think we'll get this box tossed out of the way. And then what we are going to do is we've got to figure out what all plugs into what and where to plug it into. That, and I'm terrified of scratching out this desk, so we're going to put the mouse map back on it. Just to help protect the desk a little bit. It's unnatural to see this desk, I swear. So the TV I went with, I bought it a few years, two and a half years ago on Black Friday, or Cyber Monday, one of those, 55 inch Scepter TV. It's been great, honestly, I like it. There's definitely a latency notice to it when playing games, but if you're working, it's great at using Word and email and social media marketing and social media fun. Honestly, I almost just want to plug everything and just start over. There's so much going on down here. I think I might just pull the desk out and just rip everything out. Sounds like the best plan. Okay. There we go. That should be enough. I got this one power cord right now. It's the only thing I have so far power-wise that I know needs to plug in. Everything else can get ripped out. See what it is. See what it ain't. Figure it out from there. I'm gonna move this plug over real fast. There we go. All right. There's one six strip. There's the second six strip. 
my goal is to have a lot of these power strips and adapters out of here. There's one power cord with a three in it. Let's see. Most of it's on the other side now. Let's start here. Where were you? Here's one. There's another one. Ooh. Here's another one. And this one is plugged in on the other side of the camera. Too inconvenient to jump the camera. Come on. But I just unplugged another one. All right. Let's figure out where all these power cords go. There's like two of them. <sighs> Alright, so this one's for the phone. Awesome. What about these other 30 coming out of there? Alright, so actually we're going to pull this one out. I don't like it going through this way. Oh lordy. There we go. We're just going to dump it back there. Lucky so. Okay, and this goes to the power supply in the drawer. So I have a universal power supply in here. So that when I'm working on a laptop here, I have a universal power supply. Boop. I plug it in, and all the bits are in there. There's like 40 different uh, tips for different laptops. Mm, excuse me. All right. But then, like, it's just power cable after power cable. Let's pull this one out. It goes to this monitor over here, which will probably get changed on places. All right, I see one more power cord over there. Let's grab a broom real fast. Make it a little less disgusting. Before I... Move everything. There we go. That gets out a lot of the dust and fur, Mr. Bruce. There we go. So, I say we gather up these last few here. Do, 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 do. These last few cords. Let's go ahead and plug uh, this universal power supply in so I can get to a uh, charging. And what I'm actually going to do is take a rubber band and bunch up that little bit of excess cable.
There you go. Power supply turns on. Look at us. We are moving in the correcto direction. All right. So that's probably going to be as much as I can bundle easily, which works. I get rid of a ton of excess power cord that would just be dang one. All right, so step two, I think we should throw down this huge switch. I'm not sure if I should do that now or if I should get all these cables out and then do it. So we still got several cables that come from back over here. And I don't know what they do, so I don't want to plug them in. So I'm going to go ahead and reach behind this desk. Oh, sorry, Bruce. I'm going to lay down with you. I'm laying on my dog bed. There's two cables that won't come. Let's see what they are. Go. All right. So yeah. What are you to? Ah, you're to the sound. Perfect. Awesome. All the power cables that are under the desk, I now know where they go which means we can sweep out under the desk, plug in the giant uh, whatever you want to call it, surge protector. And then we can start plugging stuff back in. I wonder if I can get the vacuum back there. Uh, you better can now. Oh, I bet I can't. I don't realize. Uh, uh, uh huh. Let's just try sweeping it out. Watch me step on all these cords. Knocks loose my internet. There we go. Swept out, crisp and clean. I'm just gonna take this and toss it over there. I don't know what it goes to still. All right, so I have uh, this huge circuit breaker here, or surge protector. Look at the size of this thing. 
We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This will do well on plugging in a lot of the smaller stuff I have. I think it's really going to help cut down on all my cables. So it's just going to lay back here. And it has a switch. It's like half of the one, half of these things you can turn on and off. And I'm actually just gonna bundle this up and uh, never look at it again. Let's grab a, another rubber band. Let's grab one that doesn't look like it's about to break. There you go. Two rubber bands, better than one. Do, 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 do. All right. El perfecto. And this wire, I think it's just going to come up the back side of the desk. We're going to plug it into the bottom surge plus battery. Perfecto. All right, I think I'm gonna grab that one cable and pull it out from over there and call all this good. And I can push the desk back. That should be everything I need the desk out for. Let's see, we're gonna lay down with Bruce again. Hey buddy, how's it going? And we're just gonna grab this line. Ah, oh, it goes to a switch over here. Which I don't even use anymore. <laughs> Perfecto. All right. So this whole desk needs to be pushed back up against the wall. Nice and slowly. We have seemed to hit something. What did we hit? <laughs> My imagination. We ran into my imagination. Let's keep back. There it goes. Perfecto. Let's see, we can go a little bit more this way. About two inches. There we go. And we got one power plug sticking out over here. I think that's the computer. TV, that's the TVs. All right. So we should do. <laughs> we were smart, right? I think I got some stickers back here. I think I still got some stickers. Smaller ones. I got huge stickers. All right, I might just cut these in half and use them. If I can. It's got me a sheet of stickers. Let me grab myself a pen. Pen achieved. And let's find me some scissors. Here we go. Because just getting a label maker would have been too difficult. All right. So what we're gonna do is do a TV. So let's do T V. Let's 
Cut the sticker in half. And we're going to wrap it around this plug that's for the TV. Bet you didn't see that coming, did you? Some people call it clever. Perfecto. All right. So with our TV plug, let's go ahead and plug it in. Perfecto. All right. Let's get one for the PC. Uh, this looks like a... That one's used. Uh, here's one. Perfecto. Let's do the same thing. Take this and we'll do P C P C. You know, what I really should have done beforehand. Let's take a before picture. Oh no. So you can see how bad it was before versus how beautiful it's about to be. But look at that job there. Looks looks fantastic. That's why you gotta focus. Alright, so then what we're gonna do is take this. We're gonna drop this down. Might actually look better if I drop it down behind the desk than up and in front. Same with the uh, TV, actually. Uh, plug in the PC, unplug the TV, and then redrop the TV. Pull back up the TVs. And then let's just take it in. Oh no, please just fall back. so much progress. All right, so this is the speakers. I'm going to again plug the speakers in. And we're going to make a amp tag. So let's just do amp A M P and again A M P. Perfecto. Cut our tag in half. Stick it on the amp wire. I might actually just stick this one on the box because the box is so big. Yeah, stick it on the box because the wire is super tiny and the box is super big. All right. 
Ooh, no. So, I want to turn this back up while I talk on this part. We got the PC plugged in. We got the Third Power 1500 plugged in. We got the TV plugged in. We got the sound plugged in. We are getting closer. We got the phone plugged in. The phone's right here. So we might even do a smaller sticker and just stick it on the back of this. So let's do uh, P H O N E. Cut it in half again. This sticker. And now we have a phone. Very professional, I know. All right. And a phone is powered up. Perfect. Where's the actual phone? Yeah, we'll find it eventually, right? Like now. Ding. Alrighty. Phone says it has no line. Right. Let's go ahead and run the phone line. If we can find it. It's still plugged into the box. So unplug the phone line from the box. We'll go ahead and run it from the base to wherever we put the boxes. <laughs> Didn't really think that far ahead, now did we? Because there's three. Oh no, that just break that. Let's see if I can fix this. I can, and I did. Fixed. Stuff it on cables. So, uh, the three boxes, I think, I'll just set them on top of the speaker right here. That way I can see, easily see all three of them. The only downside is that they're, they're going to have a lot of wires on them. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is take that phone cable that I had just set down somewhere mysterious. Here we go. Plenty long. There are too long of a phone cable, apparently. We're actually just going to bundle the majority of this up. And we're going to bundle it the right way. which was a little more time consuming, but I think will be totally worth the extra 45 seconds it takes. How much do you think? We don't need that much. <laughs> I don't know how much, but it's definitely that's too much. Like that. I think we're getting closer. All right, I say we stop there. And we just rub all this. Perfecto. And we'll 
take this off, put it over. I can even just drop down there. And this is going to go over here, so. Uh, and it's gone forever. Awesome. That's pretty clean, actually. I'm quite pleased with it. That gets us our phone. And I won't be able to plug in those boxes until I end the live stream, because then I can unplug them and move them over. We got that one, which is for the universal laptop power supply. That's going to need a long one. So let's do like uni, PSU laptop. That'll work. U. N I space P S U and then do laptop under that L A P T O P and then again so it's U N I space P S U L A P T O P and take this and cut this one in half. Yay! I did it. Boop. And that's for this cord here. This plugged in. There's another screw. And it works. Make sure we got power on it. We got power on the brick. That amp tag is not going to stick. It's already coming off. Which we need. Two mega pieces of tape on each side to hold it on. There we go. Now a lot of tape has to come undone for that to fall off. Whew. It's cleaner already down there, which I mean it should be. It's about as clean as it'll ever get because we had more wires. All right, I say we get the keyboard on. First, let's wipe it down. It'd be a good thing to do. It's nice. And all we're going to do is set it here. And then run this. I wonder if it would be better to actually run this behind the speakers. I think it will be. See if I can even reach that. The uh, not quite. Really? Well, 
Well, now it's all stuck. All right. Might just start this over. All right. Let's see if we can grab it. No way we can. It's really far back there. Alright, let's see. Might be able to just stretch and reach. All right, our keyboard is plugged in. Lucky us. Ooh, we can go ahead and plug in the screen. We got this huge cable to go about a foot. Let's see, it gets plugged in that way. That'll be enough. Throw a rubber band on there just for it to help hold it tight like that. Plug it into the TV. And it plugs into the computer. All right. We got that part done. Moving right along. Let's see. We need a Ethernet cord from the computer to the router. Let's just use this one. Ah, yeah. This one should work. Um, there we go. Ethernet cord. Yeah, yes. So we're going to bundle up the majority of it. Let's see. This might be enough. So, oh yeah, perfecto. Another rubber band. I'm going to buy some more rubber bands by the end of this live stream. Have that set there. All right. Let's see. So we gotta start putting some of the stuff back. So we got like our tape. Yay. Start with the easy stuff, right? We got some sets of bits. We got the bits we more use more often. Pick right there. This I'm actually gonna put in storage. I don't use it really. Remote can actually go in here with the emergency cables and such. I'm gonna get put this. So I got uh, like a 25 foot, I bet, of Ethernet cable. Not Ethernet, HDMI. This is a Twisted Veins. HDMI. I've always liked Twisted Veins for my cables. Put this up here for now. And while I'm back here at the fridge, we're gonna get a nice little cup of water. All right. Whew. Make some real progress, actually. You got this little, I call it my toaster. It's a 
hard drive uh, X reader, internal hard drive reader for desktops. But it works like a pop out toaster, so I got my toaster. I'm just going to plug this in. And this has a power cable. So we need to find the cable for it. going to be one of these. Right, we'll do this next. And we'll do this one next. Those go together. I don't see it. Let me double check back here. Yep, you see? Oh, that might be what? No, that's an heiress. What about this? No. Well, I think we got a mystery cable. Oh, here it is. <laughs> of course, All right? So my options for this is I can have it plug in, well I have to have it plugged in here to the toaster, but I can have it plug into the battery backup, or I can drop the cable and plug it into the rest of everything else. I think I'm actually going to do the battery backup maybe, even though it is quite messy. Yeah, we'll drop it through because uh, it is already quite messy up top with all the cables. I think it would be a lot easier if it went down with everything else. What happens if I run it this way? Like so. Alright, perfect. So let's make up a little label for this. Put it just a plug. It's just a plug. So let's call that. External hard drive bay. Oh, this isn't the time to stop working, pen. There you go. External H D D B A Y. X no H D D D A Y Bring sticker time Perfecto. And let's get that plugged in. Man, it looks quite a lot cleaner down there. So we're going to take a half second. Little media break.
We're going to check on what's dinging my phone. There we go. Awesome. Cut. I'm almost ready for a pizza. So, because we've made it this far so far, I got my two little thingies of tools. Not really going to change anything about those. Oh, got me some glue. And my screw trays. And then my pre-filled screw tray of my extra screws. My favorite screwdriver. I will use this for literally everything. My mouse punched the wireless things in there already. Got the stapler. We got these plugs. Which one's just a USB. The other two are SATA to USB cables. And those complement these. Which I might just have to put a couple plugs down there. So I got three plugs I like to use all the time. I'm long enough. Ah, I think this was the computer cable because it was the perfect length. Rather than having that little bit too long of one. Oh. To ball this one up real Ring. Put a rubber band on it. Like so. And I'm going to go grab a longer one because I just used my longer one on the PC. Let's see. Look for a real good one. Sounds ridiculous, but I got like hundreds of these things. Having a choice is quite nice. Uh, I'll say we stick with this one. So some of these cables are going to switch down below. Oh, and that rubber band is deteriorated. So what we're going to call this one. Is test plug, I guess. Test plug and test plug. Ring. Might do three on this sticker. Yeah, I could totally get three on it. Perfect. And so this literally just sits over this corner right here, like that. And it's great for if I have a desktop or something I need to plug in on the workbench. And the same pretty much applies to these two, which got me all started on that whole thing right there. So this is SATA power, and the other one's also SATA power. Got two SATA powers. S-A-T-A. -A. And then I guess I'll just do a little power button because I just threw it that way too big. S-A-T-A. -A. Little 
power button. And then again, so X, A, T, A, power button. S, A, T, A, power button. Got those. One on you. No, no, not the down. Perfect enough. All right, and then. Dump that over there. Come on. Let's go. There we go. That goes in there. Now we got this one. Perfecto. All right. Woo. All right. Put these three in. To do that, gotta move these all down a little bit. All these wires just shoved to that side over there. Where should I switch on these? Get shoved off to the side. Perfecto! Awesome. It's actually way cleaner down there with just that one brick. I think I can wrap these up safely knowing I won't have to unwrap them for uh, this uh, particular project. Grab a couple row vans here. Here we go. That's two that I've saved from down there. Then, like, I have these extra power cords. No idea what they go to. This setup has been through a ton of changes the last few years. Uh, a couple years ago. It's been the same about the last year. Gotten the workflow really worked out.
Let's see. What's up here? Got the magnetizer. Got a bunch of paperwork, which can just stay there off of camera. Mwah. That's pretty much all that goes back onto the desk. Ah, another power cord. <laughs> right under my feet. go. I'll use one of these little ones. For the lurkers in chat, if you talk to me, I'll actually talk back. That's a foreign concept, I'm sure. But it's... Yeah, my microphone works. There we go. Look at all these cables that I'm saving from being under my desk. Just by putting in one big cable. <laughs> There we go. Whew. I don't know if I even want to tackle this other desk today. Or if I just want to uh, call it good. This desk took like an hour and a half. And I still got to put the routing stuff back. The internet stuff. I might save it for another time. Get my security system plugged back in. Oh, that's what I'm forgetting over here. Is a uh, eh, don't rob me right this second. But if you're watching this not live, it probably doesn't make a difference. Gotta plug my security camera back in. I'm gonna do that real fast here. Let's see. Yeah, because all that's going to have to change. That's so many wires. I almost wish I could bring the camera over. But you can trust me. It's, it's a lot. All right, let's go ahead and pinch this back tight. Like that. And let's go down there and grab... These few cables. I'll just throw the papers. Playing with the dog again. And it's a little, a little slobberier this time. Let's see. What we're gonna do this way? I actually have to come back and. Uh, Redo it, so I'm just going to run it around this way on the desk. Ping. And everything starts up. Awesome. I think with uh, that, I'm going to call a live stream uh, complete. That way I can go ahead and unplug all my routing stuff. And uh, get that thrown back there on the speaker and go home and eat some dinner. It's been fun with y'all, three people. <laughs> Thanks for hanging around, Mr. Three Peoples. But I am out of here.